One genre of television that still packs an incredible punch has to be the Western. They just give these awesome backgrounds where the show takes place and stunning scenery, and the characters can be incredibly diverse too. It is no wonder that Westerns are just as popular now as they have ever been. But what if you've finished watching two of the favorites, Yellowstone and Longmire? Let's check out what you can watch then. First up, we have Walker. This reboot of the classic show Walker Texas Ranger still keeps all of the best parts of the show and just updates it. It has the same heart as the original original, and some pretty awesome characters and stories. It all revolves around Cordell Walker, played by Jared Padalecki, who is a ranger, of course, but who also recently lost his wife in some pretty horrible circumstances. He should be taking care of his two children, but he doesn't quite know how to move on and start living again. With the help of his family, his kids, parents and brother, and a bunch of friends, he starts to get back on track. The show is great. Cordell is a really flawed man with a strict moral code that is trying his best, and the characters surrounding him are pretty amazing too. These are real human stories with plenty of action thrown in. Next is Justified. Moving on from a Texas Ranger to a U.S. Marshal, Justified is the story of another lawman, Raylan Givens, who will do everything in his power to make sure that justice is done. But that doesn't always mean doing things completely by the book. If he needs to color outside the lines to protect people and get the job done, then Raylan doesn't mind doing that, even when it gets him into trouble. It is after such a Justified shooting that raises a few eyebrows, and Raylan gets assigned back to his childhood home, and back to people he thought he would never see again. Friends that he used to have are suddenly on a different side of the law, and his loyalties get tested. But this is a guy that is a typical lawman of the Old West, and with his own code that he strictly sticks to. It is a great show that can become a bit dark at times, but that will keep you entertained. Plus, it was just announced that a sequel limited series, once again starring Timothy Oliphant as Raylan Givens, is in the works. Now we have Heartland. If you are more in the mood for a sweeter, lighter type of western, then Heartland might be the perfect show for you. It is a show about family. The Fleming family, who live on a ranch in Alberta and who heal hurt horses and at the same time heal the relationship between them that has also been damaged at times. This is a great drama if you want something to watch that has a complex story but will still give you some warm and fuzzy moments too. But be warned, this is currently the longest running one hour scripted drama on Canadian television. The show has 15 seasons. It is quite the commitment to start watching it, but at least you won't run out of binging material anytime soon. Next on our list is Godless. Not quite ready for such a long-term commitment? Or just craving a Western show that you can binge in one weekend and be done? Well then Godless might just be perfect for you. It still has plenty of meat on the bone since this miniseries still has seven episodes, but you can definitely start and finish it in a one weekend binge. It has some incredible characters, and many of them are really strong women. A great take on a classic Western show. It tells the story of a young outlaw who runs away from his gang and takes refuge in the small town of LaBelle, and his murderous gang follows. The town is run almost completely by women, and when they hear that the gang is headed their way, they get ready. They have no intention of letting a gang of outlaws take over their town or kill their people. It is a great story, and was really critically acclaimed. Many people even wondered if this was a true story, but it's not. But the writers of Godless did take inspiration from a bunch of legends and tales from the Old West and put elements of those into making this show. It is for sure one to watch if you love westerns. Now we have Deadwood. This is a great show to watch if you love the stories of the Old West and just enjoy watching the real-life characters portrayed on screen. One of my favorite parts of the show is when a real-life historical western figure pops up in a scene. The two main characters, Seth Bullock and Al Swearingen, were real people who lived in the town when it was starting to make the move from a camp into a real town. And some of the historical figures that feature in the show are people like Wyatt Earp, Wild Bill Hickok, Calamity Jane, Saul Starr, Jack McCall, and loads more. But be warned, don't take everything that happens in the show as a complete historical recreation. They do use real events and truths, but they sprinkle in a massive amount of fiction into these stories. The show is for entertainment, not for education, and they change many things around as they see fit, something I really don't mind. They did use actual diaries and newspapers of the time and the town to make sure that they got the feel of the show just right. And if you're anything like me, then you will probably end up Googling what was fact and what fiction after every episode you watch. It was a critically acclaimed show that was canceled way too soon. Have any of you watched some of the series on the list today? How do they compare with Longmire and Yellowstone? Let us know in the comments section. We would love to hear from you. But don't go anywhere just yet. There are still a bunch of really great western shows to watch coming your way. Up next, Hatfields and McCoys. If you believe that the best part of Yellowstone must be Kevin Costner, then this miniseries could be for you. Or if you just love history and want something that has a bit more roots in fact 
then this could be a great use of your time. This miniseries is made up of three two-hour-long parts. The show was produced by the History Channel, so you know they tried to get in as much fact as they could. It is the story of two families and the bitter blood feud that tore them all apart. This has to be one of the most well-known family feuds of all time, one that cost both sides members and where a lot of people got hurt. This is a very interesting look into the feud and the members who were involved. Six hours of the feud does tend to get a little bit long, so I would suggest watching something else in between, but it is still very much worth the watch. Now we have The Sun, another great western with an incredible cast. The Sun stars Pierce Brosnan as Eli McAuliffe. The character is seriously flawed, and you need to be prepared for the fact that you won't like him at times, but at the same time, he has many reasons for acting the way that he does. As a young boy, Eli is abducted by the Comanche, and he goes through some really horrible things. That obviously impacts the man he becomes. He becomes ruthless in business and willing to go pretty far to get where he wants to be, but he also struggles to connect with his son and daughter even if he does care about them. It is a great story of real human characters that are really flawed. The family's entire success is all based on violence, and at times it's hard to know who you want to be rooting for. And lastly, Hell on Wheels. This contemporary western is just stunning to look at, and if you love trains, then this is one in particular that could be a great fit for you. It follows the town that moves with the construction of the railway. It is filled with a bunch of lawless people who all move around with the construction. But the story focuses mainly on Colin Bohannon, a former Confederate soldier that is haunted by images of the past. He first joins the railroad to have an opportunity to track down the Union soldier that murdered his wife and young son, but then he becomes hooked on life with the railroad, and he moves up in position on the railroad. It is a show that tells the story of years of railroad construction and the life of those that worked on the tracks. There are so many interesting and vastly different characters, most of whom are completely lawless, and this makes the show quite a bit different than most of the others on this list. It shows a realistic view on some of the challenges people faced while also just being really fun and entertaining to watch. And the history of the railway and how it was expanded is just really fascinating to see. Did I miss any shows that you believe should be on this list? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.